th- this is real. Yeah. I mean, this is not just uh, a more media hype about something. Uh, we know that Vladimir Putin invaded Georgia during the Bush administration. We know he invaded Crimea during the Obama administration. Now it appears that he is poised to go into Ukraine again. How credible is this? What does the timeline look like? And why are we supposed to care? What are we supposed to do about it? Yeah, so so it is it is very credible. Uh, the timeline is short. So there are right now over 100,000 Russian to- troops massed on the border of Ukraine. Uh, and those numbers are growing. They're growing on a daily basis. And, and uh, the Biden administration over the past several days has declassified documents that suggest we could see an invasion of Ukraine as early as, as the beginning of next year, as January or February of next year. Um, you know, there, there are several points, and this stuff is complicated, but, you know, in many ways we're getting back to, to, to really the, the origins of Verdict when we started. You know, our very first episode yep. in, in the, the basement in the bowels of D.C. and on the, the first impeachment trial uh, was explaining Ukraine and Burisma and impeachment and natural gas mm-hmm. and all of that. And you remember one of our first episodes, we said, all right, well, what is Ukraine? Let's, let's start with that. You know, Ukraine is a country. It is a country that, 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 that is to, to the west of Russia. Uh, it is a country that used to be to the to part of the Soviet Union. And when the Soviet Union broke out, it's one of many countries that became its own independent country. Um, why does Russia want to invade Ukraine? The, the simple answer, Vladimir Putin has been very candid about it. He has said that he considers the dissolution of the Soviet Union to be the single greatest geopolitical disaster of the 20th century. He wants to reassemble the Soviet Union. He has, he has images of Russian greatness and Soviet greatness, and he wants to restore that. Uh, and that means he wants to conquer his neighbors. Now, why is this happening now? Some of it is testing a new president, and you're absolutely right that Russia and all of our enemies test a new president. Some of it is a response to Biden's incredible weakness and ineffectiveness in Afghanistan and the disastrous withdrawal and surrender there which we've talked about on Verdict, made every enemy of America much more likely to engage in aggression against us because they took a measure of the man in the Oval Office and determined Joe Biden is unlikely to do anything about it. But there's another cause here, which we've talked about before on Verdict, and, but I think it is worth drilling down in some detail. And that cause of, of, of this Russian hostility is a decision Joe Biden personally made to surrender to Russia on Nord Stream 2, a natural gas pipeline that Russia is building from Russia to Germany. And that decision, Biden took what had been a a foreign policy victory that we had won, and he turned it into a loss. And that is the direct but-for cause of why Russia is prepared to invade Ukraine. 